So in this video, we're going to be looking at embedding video from a site like YouTube or Vimeo, anywhere where we use some kind of iframe embedding, and we're going to make it responsive. Now, by default, when you include one of these videos, you'll find that it will have a height and a width property, and that will maintain the aspect ratio of the video, but it won't make it responsive. Uh, it won't respond to different viewport sizes, and that's pretty annoying. But we're going to come up with a wrapper, we're going to do a little bit of CSS styling, and we're going to work out how we can get this to work as follows. So you can see here that we're maintaining uh, the aspect ratio of this original video. It's just an embedded video from YouTube. Like I said, we can use embedded videos from anywhere, and this will work. So we'll take a look in just a moment at the default uh, code that we will use from, say, YouTube, and then we'll start to style this up so it works as you can see here so let's get going and we'll start writing out the code that we need to make this work so here i have the default code that i've copied and pasted over from the embed link on youtube now at the moment like i said we've got a width of 560 and we've got a height of 315 at the moment on the page this looks like the following so it this obviously has uh, its aspect ratio maintained. We can do things like play the video and whatever. But as soon as we bring the uh, viewport size down, it's obviously not responding. Now there are a couple of things you might think will help here. We could add maybe a width of 100% uh, and remove the height, which will give us a really funny looking video like this, a really long video. That does respond down, but obviously we're not maintaining that aspect ratio that we need. So what we need to do then is we need to come up with a much better solution. And to start with, we're going to get rid of the width and the height attribute on this iframe. Now, on this document, I've got a style sheet already linked in here, and that's this app.css file here with nothing in it at the moment. And we're going to be adding a wrapper to this iframe. It's a little bit annoying that we need to add a little bit of extra markup, but really to get this effect, it doesn't matter too much. So let's go ahead and wrap this in a div uh, and we're going to give the class of say video wrapper. You can call this what you like. And let's pop this iframe just into here like so. So not much is going to have changed now. It's going to look exactly the same. Obviously this is reduced in size. It's still not responsive though. So what we're going to do is we're going to target the video wrapper. We're going to add a couple of styles onto this. We're going to position the iframe within this uh, as an absolute position. And that means that we can give it a width and a height of 100%. We can stick it at the top left. And then the magic happens in the actual wrapper. So over in app.css then, let's create our uh, class targets here. So we're going to say video wrapper. And we're also going to style video wrapper and the iframe within that. These are the only two selectors that we need. So for the video wrapper then, we need to give this a position of relative. The reason being is that we need to position the iframe uh, absolutely within this wrapper. And otherwise, if we don't provide this, it's gonna float off uh, where we don't want it. So this is just a little bit of uh, CSS theory here. So at the moment, this isn't gonna make much of a difference. It's just gonna look like the following. So nothing has really changed here. So what we need to do then is for the um, video wrapper, we need to give this a specific padding on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is first of all, I guess we can give the uh, iframe a width of 100%. We can give the iframe a height of 100% because we want it to fill the container that we're putting it in, which is the video wrapper. And we're gonna stick it on the top and we're gonna stick it right on the left. So that's just zero and zero. So this isn't going to make much of a difference at all. Uh, it, in fact, it's completely disappeared because we need to apply some padding to the video wrapper to actually make this show. So we're going to give this a padding of padding bottom of 56.25%. And that's going to seem really weird at first, but I'll tell you how that's worked out in just a moment. So let's give this a padding bottom of 56.25%. And let's preview this. And you can see that it's actually filled this container. Um, it's looking good. So let's just resize this. It looks fine. So everything seems to be okay. 
But how did we arrive at this 56.25% for the padding bottom? We've already done the magic. Now let's just work out why this value is here. Well, we have a aspect ratio of 16 by nine or 16 to nine. So that would look like, let's just create a new file here, 16, nine. So to work out the percentage that we need to give for this particular aspect ratio, obviously if you're dealing with another aspect ratio, this is gonna be a lot different, but the math is the same. All we do is we divide, uh, we, we do nine divided by 16, and that gives us, if we just bring up a calculator, I've already got the sum here, but let's just get rid of that. So let's do nine divided by 16, and that's 0 0.5625. This will look familiar, it's 56.25%. That is how we work it out. So we have 56 and then 0.25. That's how we arrive at that number. So whichever aspect ratio you're using, you can use the same calculation to work this out. And then you have yourself a responsive video just here. So if we press play, it just works in the same way. And that is it. We've created a very simple wrapper with a little bit of CSS to give ourselves a responsive uh, embedded video using an iframe.